You're watching BTP Sports Sideline. The sideline. This is Richard Walker, the great sports Morpheus, and I am here with two, shall I say, casual Texas fans. I don't. I, th I think that'd be the understatement of the year. I'm here with Mario. Yes, sir. Celestino. All right, Mario, and uh, also with Robert. Don. Robert Don. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? Okay. So it's good. Good. It's good to see you, fellas. Um, you guys are obviously some of the most highly decorated Texas fans out here, so I had to take an opportunity to speak to you. We'll start with you, Mario. How long have you been a Texas fan? Uh, since we first started. And uh, how many how many uh, uh, games? Do you do you just go to the home games? Do you travel as well? Uh, we started traveling last year. Um, this year we're going to the Dallas, uh -huh. so we'll be there next year. And uh, we're going to the Tennessee. And last year we went to San Diego with the traveling Texans. Do you wear your your Texans outfit wherever you go? Like like do, do you guys do any public appearances or anything like that? Uh, we're gonna do one next Friday at a uh, football homecoming for um, actually his nephew's uh, football team. Excellent, excellent. Let's, let's talk to you for a second, Robert. Your nephew. Yes, sir. Uh, you guys are gonna be attending the event. Tell tell me a bit about well, him and what he's doing. His name is Evan Schultz. He plays uh, tackle football uh, here in Spring and. Uh, you know, there's a couple divisions, uh, divisions of uh, tackle football, and they thought uh, they're all the Texans teams, and they thought, what a better way to better way to kick off the the homecoming weekend than uh, have some uh, spirit, get the kids rallied up with a pep rally and a, and a parade. So we're gonna kind of help get them going, get them fired up. Okay. Now let's talk, let's let's talk about the game for a second. Okay. So far this season, we've seen really, from my opinion, two different Texas teams. We've seen the Texas teams that came out and absolutely destroyed the Redskins. They absolutely made fools of the Raiders. And then we saw a different team last week. We saw a team that, you know, there was a lot of disorientation, a lot of miscommunication, uh, poor tackling on defense, uh, offensive line not providing pass protection. Of course, Ryan Fitzpatrick making mistakes. What adjustments do you guys expect to see for this game uh, going up against this Buffalo defense, which in my opinion is one of the most underrated defenses in the league? We'll start with you, Mario. Um, I think Bill O'Brien is doing a good job. I think he's, his game plan was a little bit off last week. So this week, I think he's going to change it around with uh, Aaron Foster playing, maybe not as many snaps as usual. So that's going to help us out big time. You know, the line, I think the offensive line is going to do good. You know, when, once you get your teeth kicked in, you want to turn around and, and kick somebody else's teeth. So I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. We'll, 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 take, we'll get your take on it, Rob. What, 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 do you, what do you think, what adjustments do you expect to see today based on what you saw last week and obviously the, the first two weeks of the season? Well, I think last week uh, it, it was clear that without Aaron Foster, a good run game, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick had a you know it just had a tough time. But I think this week, I think going against his former uh, teammates, I think he's going to have to open it up, get DeAndre Hopkins back involved, uh, Andre Johnson, uh, throw the ball downfield at least to open that open that avenue up, so that uh, you know so that he can you know get uh, you know get, give our running backs a chance. I mean, you got to keep him going on the pass game and defense to really open it up. Um, I think that'll make the difference this, this week. Okay. All right. Now, there, this is a homecoming of sorts for one former first-round Texas draft pick. You know I'm going to throw his name out there. Not the guy who's currently wearing uh, number 90, who's on uh, – unfortunately, he's on injured uh, reserve right now. That, that's your David Kleiner. We're talking about Mario Williams. So I want you guys to talk as if Mario Williams is standing on the other side of this camera. Uh, give, give Mario Williams a welcome home to Houston message. Hey, Mario, just like at the end of every game, ta -da, ta -da, your game's over, baby. Sorry. <laughs> All right, you, Robert? When we sit, we sit right down in the end zone. We're five rows right in the bullpen area of the end zone. And when the Buffalo Bills come running down to our end zone, our whole section, we're going to stand up. Tell Mario to head him back home to Buffalo. We don't want him here anymore. We're going to show our offense is going to show him that we made the right choice of getting rid of him. Okay, last question, gentlemen. Give us a prediction of today's score. I'm looking at 2014 Texans. 2014 Texans. And you, Robert? I say 34-17. 34-17. Okay, you heard it here, folks. We're here at Reliance Stadium. I got two of the biggest Texans fans in the game right here. Uh, we're looking forward to an exciting matchup regardless. I think it's going to be a very interesting Woo! game today. Two-time AFC Sacks, 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 S